What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are talking about this idea that is super prevalent in gaming and that is this like fallacy that you don't have time for longer games. Anybody who's really in here, I mean, you know RPGs are what I do. I, I play a ton of longer games. I also have a full-time job, I have family, I have other obligations, so I don't have a ton of hours every week to pour into games. But because I love those big RPGs, I play those. Right, And so I don't tend to finish as many games as a lot of other people, but I play huge RPGs to get there. If you have time to play games at all, you have time to play whatever you want. You don't have to finish 100 games. You are playing them for entertainment. It's for fun. So unless you're a content creator who makes their living on reviewing a bunch of games a year, then you don't have to play short games. They're not too long. The saying that I don't have time for longer games is completely false. If you have any time to play games, you have time to play whatever you want. It's all about your priorities, right? What matters to you? Does it matter more to you that you beat 20, 30 games a year? Or does it matter that you get to play a certain game or that there's a certain kind of game that you want to play? Like what is important to you? And I'm not saying that one is wrong or one is better than the other. If your priority is that you want to beat a bunch of games in a year, then yes, for you, it is absolutely true that you don't have time for longer games because that you won't beat as many. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what matters to you, that's fine. That's fine. No judgment. Like that's totally okay for that to be your thing. But if your thing is about playing the games you want, about games that look really good to you or playing a game that, um, you know, strikes a chord with you or whatever, then it's, it, it's length shouldn't matter to you. Oh, I don't have time for that. Yes, you do. Sure you do. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth for, what, now like three months, <laughs> right? Uh, because it just takes me a long time to get through it, and I am playing a little bit of other games on the, at the same time, taking a little break here or there, but I love that game. I want to play it, so I keep playing it. I want you to help you kind of free your mind up from that. Like, play the games you want. Again, if your priority is to beat a bunch of games or to review a bunch of games or whatever, then it's true. You might have to put those to the side until you, you know, have that time or whatever. But if you have time to play games, you can play whatever you want. Now, that's not to say that bloat isn't a thing, right? So I want to, I just want to make a quick distinction here. I'm not, I'm not trying to say that there aren't games that are made too long that aren't good. <laughs> you can make a game that's awesome for 100 hours, and you can make a game that really should have been 20 and then put bloat in it to make it 100, right? We've seen tons of those. So I agree with that. Bloat is a waste of our time, but what constitutes as bloat will change from one person to the other, right? For example, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, to me, felt like a ton of bloat. I didn't want to get through it because it just felt like, oh, well, let's just do the same thing five million times. But I know several people who absolutely love that game and just played the crap out of it, clearing maps, finishing absolutely everything, and loved every second of it, right? I love card games, so games like Queen's Blood or Triple Triad or Gwent are not bloat to me. Those are a cool mini game that I enjoy. I know some people, like my brother-in-law, who... who doesn't like card games. So to him, that's blow. That's just a waste of his time, right? So you have to be careful with that in that when I mean, when I say bloat, I'm thinking things that are repeated just over and over and over again to pat out the game. But again, that's not completely objective because that's what feels like bloat to me. So while I will talk about bloat, and I do think that's an issue in games sometimes, that isn't always the case for someone else. So I understand the call from a lot of, especially like YouTubers and stuff for a tighter experience, right? Something that that is just hit after hit after hit. But then I think we also forget about the casual market. And we talked about this already on this channel, but as a more hardcore audience, the people who watch videos and talk about games all the time, we, for, we often forget and don't know how to relate to a casual market of people who maybe have a system, maybe play one or two games a year, don't spend a ton of time or money on it, but maybe the one game that catches their attention, you know, Hogwarts Legacy, a ton of people who don't play a lot of games played that game, right? So 
there are there's this casual market. That's who we usually chalk up to COD and Madden, right? 20 million copies a year, even though it sucks, because the casual market, that's what they want. And that includes some of these other games. Not as not as many of them are gonna pick them up, but Final Fantasy or Assassin's Creed or whatever long game. And if they only buy one or two a year, that length of game is important to them. And if maybe you've been a hardcore gamer your whole life and so you don't understand that, but I remember being poor and busy and not being able to play mini games, right? And so when I bought a game, what I wanted was something that was old, that was cheap, like 20 bucks or less, and that would give me as much time as I could get out of it, right? Like I remember finding Oblivion and playing that for hundreds of hours. I remember playing Dragon's Dogma, just going through it over and over. I remember Skyrim and playing through it over and over. I know the Thieves Guild quest like the back of my hand, right? Like I did that often because I needed the most time out of the game because I just didn't have the money to spend on new ones. Wasn't gonna happen. There's a whole group of people, a whole range of people that are in that bucket as well. And we often forget about them as the hardcore market, right? We kind of forget that people are out there that only play a couple of games a year and that time really matters to them. So the longer the game, the better. So don't forget about them when we start calling for shorter games. Now, I'm not saying that it's bad or better to play a bunch of short games or to play the long games. I obviously like longer games. This channel is built on RPGs because that's what I like to play, right? I like big, long RPGs. I like big stories. I like developing a character and, um, you know, all the intricacies that can come along with that. I love that stuff. So I prefer to play longer games, but sometimes I still want the shorter ones, get a shorter experience, kind of break things up and then hop back into another big one. I don't know how you play. Maybe you, you're watching this channel. There's a decent chance that you play the bigger games too, but maybe not. Maybe you like the shorter ones. That's okay. But it's not because you don't have time for them. It's because of a choice. All of that to say, what I'm really caring about is that people start saying, and not that this is going to change anyone's mind, but in my opinion, we should stop saying, I don't have time for longer games or all games should be shorter. I disagree with that. I think that is a false statement that's subjective and it's usually said by YouTubers and people who put out videos and so they're whining because it makes more work for them, right? Oh, I love this game, but it's 100 hours, which means I didn't have enough time to do the four other reviews I wanted to do. And I get that, I do, because I wish I could put out a review every week, but I can't play games that fast. There is no way I'm gonna put out a review a week unless I play like five hour games. Those aren't typically my cup of tea, right? That's not the kind of game I like to play. So that's not going to work for me. I'll, I will put out reviews when I can. Now, if it was, that was my livelihood, I might, maybe that makes me feel different. Maybe that's why they're all saying it, but I don't know. I, I, I just feel like we need to be a little more objective about that and understand that there is a ton of people who want those longer games, that there are a lot of us who get a lot out of those longer games. And that if you have time to play games, you have time to play whatever you want. All right. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a good one. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments if you agree with me or you think I'm full of it. You know, whatever. It's up to you. Let me know. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. That helps me out a ton. Uh, gets it reach out, you know, all that kind of YouTube stuff. If you're new around here, think about subscribing. Uh, helps me out a ton and I really appreciate it. And then as always, guys, thank you for watching and good hunting.